Hey everyone, welcome to The Horror Show, I'm Cecil Laird. Just gonna do a quick review video, a non-spoiler review video for Avengers Infinity War. Fuego and I are actually gonna record a spoiler, a longer spoiler discussion this Sunday. Um, after everyone else has had a chance to see it and everything, but Fuego did a little uh, quick uh, reaction video on his Facebook last night. I figured I'd do one on the channel here. Um, I was just too tired to get it done last night, so um, this isn't going to be a super, you know, thought out or anything like that. This is just sort of an immediate um, reaction and feelings about the movie, uh, and then Sunday is going to be more of a, a, of a, you know, critical breakdown and things like that. So. Um, but yeah, just my overall thoughts were I really enjoyed the movie. Um, I thought it was not a traditional movie. Um, it was seriously just, it was, it was, okay, there's a lot to, to, to unpack here, but I did enjoy the film. Um, I thought it was, I'm, I'm glad that Marvel had some balls, I'll say that much. Um, they definitely, at the very end, that's what I said to Fuego, I was like, they had some balls, <laughs> and they really did, and I was really glad to see it. Um, there are implications, of course, um, uh, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to get into any of that. That's near spoiler territory. Um, but, yeah, it's, uh, it was entertaining throughout. The movie was two and a half hours long, but when it got to the end, I was like, wait, there's not, like, another act to come? Oh, no. <laughs> like, uh, at the same time, I was like, oh, please let this be the ending, and then it was. And so, I don't know, it's it's so crazy, um, the, the, the mixed feelings, because I wanted more. It did not feel like I was there for two and a half hours. You care, you know, if you've been following these movies, you care about everyone um, that you're watching, for the most part. I mean, you have your favorites and your least favorites, sure. But, I mean, there is substantial Wakanda stuff substantial Guardian stuff, substantial Avengers stuff, substan substantial, you know, individual Avengers stuff. Like, there is a lot, like, they wrap up threads from past Avengers movies, which makes sense, you know. Um, a, a lot of Age of Ultron stuff gets sort of uh, wrapped up in this um, in very satisfying ways throughout, uh, in, or rather including characters that I did not care about previous to this film. Um, Wanda, to, to Wanda and Vision. Um, specifically, I cared a lot more about them in this than I ever imagined I would. Um, they did a really great job with those two characters in this film, which again, very surprising to me. The Scarlet Witch, the, you know, the mystical lady from uh, Avengers 2. Um, but, yeah, so, um, it, it was, it was so entertaining because you just kept going from group of people you want to know about, to group of people you want to know about, to group of people you really want to know about, and then like it's, it's, you know, so you're following along the entire time. It never, it never had a dull moment for me. It really didn't. Um, and uh, everyone shined, you know, everyone was on their A game. I don't think anyone phoned it in. I think, I don't really like what um, our Bruce Banner is kind of like now with the new actor. I've always found him a little bit whiny and that kind of continues in this, so. Um, not the hugest fan of that, but, uh, you know, it's a choice, and it is what it is, but, um, everyone else is, is amazing, um, everyone is amazing, he's even good at, at what he's doing, of course, um, but, uh, but yeah, so, all the actors, or all the, uh, all the actors, yes, all the actors, all the characters are all great, um, seeing them interplay with one another, I mean, when the Avengers meet up with the Guardians, and, you know, uh, uh, there's there's just people that you realize have never met, even though you feel so familiar. You feel like you're friends with all of these guys, and so you feel like they should know each other, but they they don't. They don't know each other, and it's and there's a lot of first meetings that are kind of interesting. None are really delved that deep into, unfortunately, because they just didn't have the time. Because this movie trucks along, you know, it it gets a lot done in two and a half hours. Um, it seems like a long time, but they still accomplished a lot. And I do have to say, Thanos is my favorite villain of the Marvel series so far. Uh, they did such a great job. Josh Brolin, at first his voice was annoying. I'm like, I felt like they should have added some timber to it. But by the end, I was totally like, I'm like, oh, that's Thanos. You know, like he, and he looked really good. Like he didn't look cheesy like I thought he was going to. I don't know, like that first trailer that came out, I didn't like how he looked, but they definitely re-rendered a bunch, and he looked a lot more there than I thought he would, especially in some close-up shots. And again, this, I, I've heard some other people say this, um, this is Thanos' movie. Like, this is 
his story. Um, it's, it's really interesting that way, but man, it was effectively played that way. Um, you get, you know, some backstory with him and the daughters a little bit, um, you know, Gamora and Nebula. Uh, and then you, you get, um, you know, the interplay between him and his lieutenants who are also really cool. I mean, one specifically, I really like the uh, sort of the, the speaker of Thanos' group. He, I can't remember what his comic character's name is, but he was so entertaining to watch. And he had some really cool powers, really cool fights. Um, another cool interplay was uh, Doctor Strange and um, Iron Man. Uh, that was some really good stuff there. Wong, also excellent. Um, and of course, Peter, Spider-Man, when he shows up, he, he doesn't steal every scene, but next, n damn near, you know, he's, th one scene in particular, um, so he, he's so good, um, but in, in everything, he's, he's really, really great. So, um, definitely, um, Tom Holland bringing it, uh, for sure. Um, and you see virtually everyone from the other, uh, Marvel movies, virtually, not everyone. Um, but you do see most of them. Now, as far as the uh, action goes, I just want to touch on that real quick before I hang up this not-so-brief, brief review. Um, the action all looked amazing. We did not see it on IMAX. We did not see it in 3D because, frankly, we got our tickets late. Um, so we just got to see it in a regular theater, regular sound. Bummer on the sound, by the way. Like, it was never more apparent how important big Dolby sound systems are in a theater until you watch a movie like this without it because it felt like I was straining to hear stuff and that was a big bummer. So I'm definitely going to go back to the IMAX and in a big sound theater um, and, and watch this again to give it its, its proper credit. Um, because I do want to, I, I like legitimately would be happy to go watch this again right away, which does not happen for me because I feel my time is very valuable and I can't rewatch things um, because it's just, I could be watching something else that I haven't watched yet, you know. But this one I do want to watch and give it its proper due because it was filmed on IMAX cameras. So um, I'm going to do that. Um, maybe I can squeeze that in before our spoiler review on Sunday. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, the action was still amazing. Um, it was, you know, some of it was kind of CG and heavy and stuff like that. But you don't really mind that. It's all eye candy in these Marvel movies. And this was no different. Um, a lot of the action was more intimate in this than has been in the past Marvel movies. A lot more up close and personal stuff going on um, than, than you're used to, but it all worked to the movie's favor. So, I mean, overall, it's definitely uh, probably in my top five Marvel movies, at least my immediate reaction. So, um, definitely get out and go see it, you guys. Not that you weren't going to, but yeah, so that's just going to be my brief um, response. Uh, you know, quickly after seeing the movie, again, we're going to be recording a, a deeper breakdown review um, that will be spoiler uh, with Fuego. We're going to record that on Sunday, so um, stay tuned for that if you want to watch it. But until next time, I've been Cecil Laird. Thanks for bearing with me on this non-horror review, and remember, stay scared. Stay scared.